What's going on, big dogs? SJ Leo here. In today's video, we're going to be going over the entire May roadmap update for Lost. So let's dig into this. All right, guys. So before we start, please do me a favor, leave a like, comment what you think of this update down below. Uh, of course, after you watch the whole video. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when I upload. And without further ado, let's dig into it. All right, so this update is actually called Destined for Destruction. Now you're going to see this was obviously released. Uh, the roadmap was obviously released a few days ago. I've been busy, so I'm sorry I couldn't hop onto it right away. But let's start reading into this. So Heroes of Arcasia in last month's April and May roadmap, we gave a first look at what you could expect in May's major update. In that article, we discussed our approach of monitoring player progression and feedback to find the correct release timing for more in-game content, such as uh, Valton Legion Raid and Descluda Guardian Raid. Sorry if I pronounced that wrong. After closely monitoring alongside Smilegate RPG, we feel that enough of our player base has reached the item level needed to participate or is within easily striking distance to get there over the next few weeks. And we have decided that this is the right time for the release to enter the western shores of Arcasia. So basically, uh, a lot of this stuff is already released over in the east. So like this game obviously came out in Russia and South Korea first. It's been very popular over there. And now it's finally being released to the west. All this uh, Legion raids and stuff. But we'll get to that here soon. So next they say it's never our goal for players to feel like they need to pay to progress and players who haven't reached the item levels required to participate shouldn't feel pressured continue to enjoy the journey of exploration and challenging yourself at your own pace for newer players eager to hit the high levels required to participate in end game activities we hope that the express event missions and extension of the guardian raid event to may 19th will help you progress while still teaching the vast variety of mechanics and game modes in lost ark so I, I do agree with that. I, I'm glad that they're addressing the uh, everyone saying that it's pay to progress. Uh, that's been going on for some months now. I've still been playing the game in the background quite a bit. I, I know I've been playing a lot more of Tiny Tina's recently on the channel, but I've still been playing this game here and there trying to keep my character leveled. I'm still not even close to like far end game like a lot of these people are. I'm not even going to be able to do these raids and stuff right away. But, uh, but yeah, let's jump down to some of the juicier stuff. Uh, I do agree that I'm really happy that they're at least kind of extending things. So that's a little easier for people who might just be on the cusp of getting towards this harder end game content. So I, I do like that. I like that they're extending things. It's a solid, solid addition. So I'm happy to hear that. So Legion Raid, Legion Raid. These are super, super cool. Uh, I've watched a lot of streamers and YouTubers do these. These are really, really cool. So I'm excited to d dive into these myself. So let's go over what these are. So. Vulton will introduce the first Legion raid into the Western version of Lost Ark. So Legion raids are difficult team-based activities that require teamwork to understand and execute the strategy necessary to counter each Legion's commander's unique characteristics, abilities, and mechanics. As Legion raids are challenging and take time, there are gates or checkpoints that will save players' pro progress as they advance through the raid. Vaulton is an eight-player Legion raid, has two gates, and introduces a swath of new mechanics. Players will need to be item level 1450 to attempt normal difficulty and 1445 for hard. The Vaulton Legion raid will also introduce a new rarity for the gear, Relic. Relic gear can be crafted from materials earned in this raid. It provides more impactful armor and weapon bonuses alongside bigger stat bonuses and more engraving nodes on accessories so that's huge that's huge so again this is super super late game stuff here 14 15 and 1445 are super super high gear scores uh not a ton a ton of people are really hitting that uh, obviously enough for them to release it but what i mean is it's not like a huge chunk of the player base is already there right it, it's it's not i don't even think it would be half at this point it, it's a really high score to get to so but that's really cool it's really cool that it's a high end one and it's obviously really, really hard if it's going to take at least eight people. So this is where you're going to kind of start to see a meta forming, which is something that I'm a little hesitant to. Obviously, there's already a meta forming with the PvP being like bards are really powerful. PvE, for instance, paladins are huge in PvE. So I can imagine that this is going to kind of form a meta for the raid. So if you're playing a class that isn't super team orientated or doesn't really buff this squad at all, and all your job is is to 
stand there or to try and dish out damage. I don't know if that's really going to be viable anymore. Uh, probably just for obviously just mobbing, running around, doing your own thing. That could definitely be a thing. But we'll, we'll see how this goes out. Again, I don't think any class in this game is terrible. And I, I'm pretty sure every class is viable. And for the most part, you're going to get to do it. I'm not saying think that people are just going to kick you because you're a certain class. No, I'm just saying that I'm pretty sure if you want to get through these these Legion raids a little bit more easily, uh, you're going to have to kind of play the meta, which is annoying, but that is kind of how these games end up working. So again, I don't think your characters are going to be dog crap and that you're not going to be able to use them. I'm just saying like to get through them a lot easier, there's probably going to be a meta to start to evolve. Okay, so uh, Descula Guardian Raid. Guardians are more powerful enemy enemies that can tip the scales toward good or evil a new guardian will arise and must be vanquished before they usher in an age of darkness descaluda will require an item level of 1415 to attempt so again pretty pretty high as with the other guardian raids you can attempt to vanquish descaluda alone with a party or match make with up to three other heroes similar to the rewards of the vaulton legion raid players will also have the chance to earn relic quality accessories from defeating Descaluda. So only this Guardian Raid will give you those high-end Relic qualities. So again, Relic is now the new super high-end gear score, so just, or gear level. So just remember that. Next, and this is the one that I'm really, really excited for. Uh, I think this is a huge, huge introduction. We're finally starting to see this. The Destroyer in the Advanced Classes. So we've talked about the cataclysmic impact that Warriors have had on the battlefield, but nothing embodies this better than the Hammer-Wielding Destroyer. Armed with a variety of skills centered around charging into the heart of the fray, their hammer attacks are so catastrophically crushing that destroyers can bend gravity to their will, slowing, launching, pushing, and pulling enemies. Whatever it takes to utterly, beyond a shadow of a doubt, destroy them. Dealing massive stagger damage, the destroyer is a welcome addition to any party attempting to vanquish powerful foes. The destroyer will join the Berserker, Paladin, Gunlancer as the fourth warrior advanced class. So... Super exciting. Uh, I'm pretty sure they released this guy first. Maybe it's just a coincidence, but I think it's because everyone over here uh, in the in the Western servers plays Warrior. Like, like that's just been by far the most popular class. It's not even close. Like, it's like 35% of people are a Warrior. Like, it's not even close. And, e and like a good chunk of them are Paladins or Berserkers. So Gunlancer isn't as popular. I feel like this guy's going to be a good combo of uh, Gun Lancer and Berserker with no really Paladin aspects at all. Uh, I haven't seen any major gameplay of this guy yet. I kind of don't want to spoil it for myself because I'm pretty sure this is going to be my next character I go through. I don't have a big warrior class yet, so I'm excited to try this guy out. So I've been waiting for him to release. So once he releases, I'll probably start <laughs> up another character and hopefully get this guy up and running. But he looks really cool. I'm excited to see what his abilities actually end up being again. They're probably out there. I'm sure you guys can go look them up yourselves. I'm just not trying to spoil anything for myself as of now anyways. Uh, but I can imagine like a, with, with the gravity thing, basically I can see it like if you swing your hammer really hard, uh, the, the, the enemies will be like knocked in the air, but for a longer period of time and they're like slowed or warped or, you know, maybe you like smash the ground and they all get sucked into you for some reason. And then you're able to combo that with like a big push away or like a knock up that like slows them down so they can't get up as fast or recover as fast so it'll be interesting to see what happens i am excited for this class i think it's a huge huge addition and it's going to add a lot more uh how can i a variety i should say into say like team comps or metas for the dungeons that we just went over or the raids i should say so there are challenge guardian raids uh they will add, basically add new weekly activities for players looking for a challenge each week players can attempt to defeat three challenge guardians. Every guardian has their own book card. I don't level to enter, so it's basically just new raids that you can do. A little more entertaining stuff. Uh, there's going to be some new quests and open world activities. The Southburn activities, so Chaos Line Hard Mode, Thunderwings Field Boss. Uh, we got Southburn Ghost Ship and Southburn Chaos Dungeons will be arriving in Arcasia, so that's kind of cool. But yeah, so basically just some extra content. South Vern and stuff is a little more late game, not late, late game, but you know, level 50-ish once you hit that threshold. Um, there's going to be some new guild activities coming, so new PvE and PvP guild activities will be arriving in May. Uh, issue challenges across Arcasia to control guild bases to prove your guild is the best around. So there's going to be Island Siege, which is 
as you can imagine. Uh, it's a PvP match where however many points you can make by capturing objectives and defeating enemy players. Uh, you earn rewards and perks like gems, accessories, ability stones, and more, which is super cool. There's going to be raid matches. Uh, enter a base with your guild and challenge the powerful uh, Samel Devourer. Once summoned, you'll have a limited time to cooperate with your guild and quickly destroy uh, the Devourer. The faster you kill, the more you move up the guild ranking. So again, there's a lot of, a lot of guild themed objectives coming out, which is really good. Uh, when I was, at least up till now, until this is getting added, I didn't really think there was a ton. Obviously, there's still a lot of content and still a lot of fun things to do, but uh, I'm glad that they're expanding it, making it a little bit more engaging and making it uh, a little bit more meaningful. You know, it's nice to see where your guild rates among everyone else. So next we have the cosmetics, and this is my least favorite part of the May update. Uh, I hate, I hate when they do this stuff, when they do like school outfits or whatever, or maid outfits, dumb things like that. I'm not a fan of it. Uh, if you wanted to like give me a suit or something, I would rock a suit, right? If you were like, all right, here's like a bomb suit like a sports jacket and a tie, go kick some butt in some nice, like, John Madden shoes or something, <laughs> you know? Like, that'd be kind of fun. But when they do, like, oh, yeah, here's a school uniform, like, all right, we get it, you're a Korean game or, or an Asian game, right? We understand. You didn't need to do this. So I'm not a big fan of these, but uh, but then, yeah, they add in some quality of life updates, so... Front and back attack indicators, so that'll be nice. Uh, the ability to check daily and weekly, weekly content participation in a new menu. Uh, that's nice. That's nice. It'll be like, so everything's just kind of getting organized. That's really good. UI updates. Okay. Improved party finder and party invites, so we'll see how that works out. Updated loot dismantling. That I'm excited for. That sounds exciting. Uh, maybe you can actually start crafting more things instead of just dismantling crap and selling it. Uh, I'm also just bad at the game, so maybe you can already do that, and I just don't know about it, but that would be cool. Uh, so, obviously, with the recent rework of the Destroyer Advanced class to increase the, his impact on the battlefield, Smile Get RPG has recently released a balanced patch on many of the Advanced classes to tune, update, and further define these classes' roles on the battlefield. Uh, we'll provide more specifics for players unfamiliar with these changes in the release notes. So, Pretty pretty decent stuff. I'd say I'd say this is a solid solid update. Nothing crazy, uh, other than obviously the new class and a couple of bigger raids here. But overall, uh, I think it's a really really good. Again, to me at least, uh, the most disappointing part is the wardrobes. These are terrible. I don't know why they do these. Just give me some dark grungy like cool medieval slash anime style armor that makes you look like you can take down an entire army by yourself. So that's what I like. But, you know, obviously some people like this. I get it. It's just not my thing. Uh, but anyways, guys, if you did enjoy, again, remember, to please leave a like, comment, and, of course, subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you know when I upload more videos like this. Uh, go ahead and check me out over on Twitch, uh, TTD, TTV forward slash SGLeo. I'm over there streaming about four to five times a week uh, on average. So... Come over there, check me out if you want to see me live and just have a chat and ask your questions. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Peace. I lost my best friend to 23. She left her body in Harvard above me.